Look at how small that tick is on my hand. I don't even know how I noticed that. That thing is like literally the size of a grain of pepper. That is terrible. What up, Hawk Squad? I'm here with young crush boy, Luke. He's also on the Bombers with me. And tonight is actually Tuesday night, and we are running a match play league here at Borderland. But Luke and I decided instead of playing match play, we're gonna film a video, and it is gonna be a flight test video on all the discs that were inside the X-Mania, Discmania mystery box that I opened up earlier this week. Luke also brought one of the new S-Line DD1s. And then Discmania also sent me a package that I got today that I literally have no idea what's even inside this. So we have a surprise package, we have mystery box discs, and we have an S-Line DD1. We're gonna try to get as many throws as we can in. It's almost six o'clock right now, so we really only have like an hour and a half of daylight to get this done. I'm gonna present this to you, and you can open this up. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my keys. Anyone who's been watching for a little while, I'm not gonna leave my keys behind. They're gonna go right back in my pocket. There you go. All right. All right, what do we got? Oh, I haven't seen these things yet. I don't know if I've even seen that yet. Ella Hansen Swirly oh, S-Line FD. Cool. So yeah. That's awesome. Ella Hansen Swirly S-Line FD, the showstopper. One in like a gray, like a swirly gray with like kind of a little nuclear stamp on the back. Yeah. And that one does too, kind of like a swirly orange, like a creamsicle color. These are really cool. So nice. we got some swirly FDs to check out as well. So 12 different discs to be giving you guys flight patterns on today. We're gonna head probably over to the field and start throwing over here and then we'll get out on the course. But hope you guys enjoy and it's always just fun playing with Luke and getting him out here on the vlog too. Yeah, super excited. I wanna throw the Razor Claw. Razor Claw? Razor Claw 3. Pretty overstable. Yeah, well, well short of the path. <laughs> yeah. I got the Arctic Fang and the P2 here. That was so straight. P2, this is probably going to be a little bit more overstable than that Arctic Fang, I would think. Ooh, flip on the dirt. But. That came out of my hand on Annie and it still fought out into a fade there. All right, I'm gonna try out one of these Ella Hansen Signature Series FDs. We're starting to get a little bit of headwind here. So I am gonna put this on just a little bit of hyzer. All right, those are pretty stable. Here we have the, it's either a Neo Enigma or a Lumen Enigma. I really don't know. Someone in the comments said it could be the Lumen plastic, but I'm really not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and say Neo. Okay, watch that baby. Horizon Cloud Breaker. All right. Already bag one of these. You do already bag one. Oh yeah. Oh, that could be smoked. Nice shot. The DD1. DD1? Oh yeah. S-Line DD1. I have a Horizon DD1, but S-Line yeah. might be a little bit straighter. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that had some good glide on it. Brand new Neo Essence. This is definitely going to be flippy. Oh, that was a nice flight. That was actually a really good flight. Just off the road, 375, little skip shot. What'd you say, six stamp? Six stamp, yeah. C-Line FD3. All right, this is gonna be beefy, so put it on Annie for sure. All right, All right. Go. Nice shot. Nice. That actually held. I thought it was gonna fight out a lot sooner. Yeah. Out Perfect. to the course now, done with the field. <laughs> Thick, double stamped Arctic Fang. I throw a putter on the shot normally, so. Do you? No. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a really nice play. You kind of threw that hard. I thought that was going to turn, too. Yeah, that was nice. a little overstable. Yeah. Very nice. I'm going to throw the D line Flex 2 P2. Try to do the same line right in the middle of this tunnel. Oh, 
little lower, but pretty much the same flight. Maybe a little bit more overstable than the Arctic Fang. Holy crap. Bro, I might be like circle one with an FD. CD one. Turn, turn. Some natural turn. <laughs> S line DD1, first take. Turn. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, that was still great. Nice shot. <laughs> yeah, FD got to like circle's edge, maybe about 40 feet. See yeah, if I can, yeah, see if I can hit the putt. Oh my uh, goodness. Just a it's a brand new P2, it's too stable. Like right here. Ha! Way to show me up. Yeah. Wide open field, 430 feet to get to the white basket that you see there. Great hole to do some disc reviews on. S line, DD1. DD1. Too low, see you later, worm burner. Alright, that one's not in the woods. Going with the Arctic Fang here. I'm gonna throw <laughs> pretty much as hard as I can. Luke loves coughing. Sorry. No, no, you're good. It's a little low, but too nice and straight. Probably like 250. Okay. Out of my hand, that's exactly what I wanted, and it is definitely more overstable than I thought, because I thought that I was going to get some turn. Showstopper. Yep. Turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, perfect to blue. We both did the same thing. We left them a little inside and they didn't turn necessarily as much as we thought. Out in the field, this Essence had a really solid flight, so I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Maybe try to get a little bit more turn out of it though. It's a little bit of a left to right tail here. Holy crap. My goodness. I just went like 400. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to get this Razor Claw like over 300 feet, but let's see how it flies on a forehand. It's really overstable, so I'm going to have to put it on some ante out of my hand. And super low. No, you can't put this on camera. Why not? Just barely out driving your DD1 with a razor claw forehand? <laughs> to have a birdie opportunity on a 440 foot hole with an essence, I will take this all day. All right, a little more to the right, because this is going to be stable. Yeah. yeah. That's why he's on I don't the even bottom. get this birdie with like my normal discs. like. Let's go. Okay, Luke wants to follow it up with Dude, his own butt. I have to. Yeah. Nice. Well, it's a two in doubles, so it's still a two. Exactly. <laughs> Full three of Borderland, blue to white, way uphill and to the left. Way up there. For the FD3. And you can't really tell the elevation on camera, but this elevation is a good 40 to 50 feet uphill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Watch out. He's got the cloud breaker. All right, I'm going horizon cloud breaker forehand uphill, playing to the old pin position, which normally is in the middle here, all the way up on the top of the hill in the middle. Currently, the pin position is in the top left up on another hill, but I'm throwing the old line here. Definitely going to need to put some turn on this because this is pretty overstable. Ching. All right. So. First day on camera. If the basket was there, it'd be like 40 short, but that was a good flight and it's really overstable, so it just wasn't going to fly all the way up the hill. CD1. Nice. That was like a soft landing. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Big hyzer with the essence uphill. So even if I put it on a little bit of hyzer, it's probably not going to turn all the way over, especially because I'm throwing uphill. But let's give it a rip. All right, that's going in the bag after this uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> You're pinned with what? The FD3. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. This is a tough shot. It's a big hyzer all the way uphill. Will parked it with the FD3, and I think he said my Oh, essence. my goodness. No, I can't believe you did that. Oh, my God. I called him Will, his little brother. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I went a little bit long. I did not expect to go long with the essence, but probably about 20 feet long. Uh, I'm too lazy to take the putter out, but let's see if we can get another essence birdie. Gosh. This disc, dude. This flies so well for me and like my style. I, I was telling uh, Luke, I have my backhand release is a natural hyzer release. Like I don't really throw that flat or on Anheuser naturally. So for me to have a disc like this on a natural hyzer release, it is just flying so good. Flex flick with the C-Line FD3. You want me to go to the other side? No, it's okay. I'm going to move out of the way in a second once I, once I throw. Should come back. You probably can't see it. And now you can see it. That was good. That's like 15 feet left of the pin. Nice. I could try up. I don't know if this is going to work, but... Razor claw? See the right gap. Oh, it's just too overstable. Oh, oh, off the rock. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, no. Smack. Uh. Minus a gram. <laughs> I try the CD. Flex flick with the CD one. Nice. Nice. That was good. There we go. Uh oh. It's always so sad seeing little chips and brand new discs, but it's what they're made to do. Made to throw. Going in the basket. Come out. Oh, kick backwards. Oh, it is. Still that came rolling. out of my hand, good though. See ya. <laughs> is it still rolling? Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Nice. Holy crap. It's tick season. Guys, look at how small that tick is on my hand. That is terrible. Mr. Henderson. That was a pizza box mini for a second. It, it pretty much is a pizza box mini, but disc box mini. Do you want a couple throws? Nah. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. A couple celeb shots from Sam here. All right. Mm. Nothing like a fresh fairway. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, overstable. This feels pretty beefy. Yeah. Nice. Good rip. Yeah, yeah, if you ever want to play, you know. Not like you've been playing for 15 years. Yeah, that's a nice flight. That's exactly how I wanted it. But that's still more overstable than I keep thinking it's going to be. Here we go. There you go. Nice shot. That was, yeah, that was perfect. Hey, Noah. That's gonna wrap things up, checking out all 12 of these new discs that we've been throwing. Me personally, I know the Essence is already like a disc that's been existing for a while, but I haven't thrown a new Essence in a really long time. The one I have in my bag is really flippy. 
And to throw a brand new essence again, if you made it this far in the video, you know that this thing was flying great for me. So this is probably the most fun disc that I threw out of the whole bunch. Do you have like a favorite disc that you might have thrown out of the whole bunch? Uh, I was a big fan of the CD1 actually. The uh, CD1 was good. More overstable than I thought. Yeah, but. yeah, I thought it was gonna be, you know, that slightly flippy fairway, but it yeah. holds that nice straight to overstable. Yeah, and you can power up on that like pretty hard. Like towards the yeah. end of the video, I was trying to throw the CD1 hard to get some turn, and it would still just go nice and straight and finish to the left. And on hole three, you did a flex flick with the CD1, right? Yeah. And it still kind of fought all the way back out and gave him a birdie putt. So CD1 was probably more of an eye opener than I thought it was gonna be. I personally thought it was gonna be like a faster FD, but it really is like an overstable fairway, probably in like that nine speed. I'm not quite sure what speed it is, but I had a blast out here. We threw a bunch of discs. It's always fun playing with Luke and it's starting to get dark. We're gonna wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna get the giveaway discs out to Cody. And I think we're actually gonna be meeting up for a vlog rather than me uh, mailing them to him because Cody's actually local. And no, I did not rig it. I did a normal, regular old YouTube comment picker and it was just the luck of the draw that someone local to me happened to win it. But always fun playing with Luke. I will yeah. see you guys in the next one. You got anything to say? Go Bombers. Go Bombers. Peace out. Oh.